This is gonna be so gross. This is gonna be so gross. I'm a crackhead, hey. I'm a crackhead, hey. I need a snack. So, thank God I went to eat with you the Wawa's. And you didn't go with me to Wawa's, you'd be shitted. <laughs> if I didn't go to, can I, if I didn't go to Wawa's, I would have been shitted. Hey guys! Oh. Welcome to your favorite show, Crackhead Chronicles. In this bow, I'm TLO, and you are Ho. Hey, 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 y'all got yeet, yo, yeet, hey, yeet, yo, yeet, y'all got yeet, yo, yeet, yo, yeet. Okay, so today we're gonna be reacting to y'all's confessions. If you didn't see the community post, if you didn't look at our Instagram, that's your fault. Call the indicator, being a bitch. But we got 99 responses. Uh, I hope this summer makes it 100. Can someone make it 100? Oh shit. No, <laughs> it's not 100 yet. Ding dong. Light skin baby on the track. Do y'all want to see my dog? Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Hey, come here. Come here. Up. Oh, you're so cute. Look, guys, it's Cherry. Cherry, 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 Cherry. Ah, hey. 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 All right, look at the video. Hey. Oh, yeah. So confession time. Mm -hmm. Let's start at this right here. I'm bleep is bleep. <laughs> bleep 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 Let's start with number one. Pee pee. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That cool, okay. I just love y'all. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The both of y'all. Oh, okay. And that oh my said, gosh. I once peed on someone's seat at school when I was 10 and didn't clean it or own up to it. That is tough. Oh my god. Wanna read the next one? I have a little really quick story. Oh. I have a best friend named Bleepy Fuck Bleep Blah Blee. She was cool. Anyway <laughs> This girl had like urinary issues. So and it was like a thing. I don't know why the teacher didn't want her to go to the bathroom. Maybe she didn't ask. I don't know the child. She probably did, but anyway. She peed in the seat and there was a puddle when she walked away. That's the moral of the story. Mm. I have urinary issues, wear a diaper, bitch. I ate slugs when I was little. You're nasty. You're nasty. That right. just means that you're gonna want to swallow tongue when you make out with someone. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is, I work at McDonald's and fart on the food, LMAO. It's <laughs> kind of fun. You're a liar. <laughs> you're lying. No way. How do you fart on the food? Like, you're lying. Liar. I thought about... Fanfics during church to pass the time. I'm atheist. That emoji. You're a rebel. Mm -hmm. Guess what I used to do? I used to read fanfics in church. She really did. Like, I seen it once. Not really, but I did. I was there. Everything in Tielo's life, I I was there. I used to have my brightness all the way down, reading about people inside of each other. When I was 14, I lied about my age to my 17-year-old boyfriend. Oh my god. Ew, oh my gosh. That sounds like peta 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 pedophilia. <laughs> what song is that? What's, what Doja Cat song is that? Um, it's called Files. Files? Period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I read the next one? Oh, yeah. No, you read it. You just asked me. No, you read it. You read it. I'll just read the next one. Oh, you read it. Why is this like debate so like kind? <laughs> I don't know. I can't stop eating. I know me neither. Uh uh, cause I know some of y'all little, y'all little gay ones. Y'all little gay ones. What? Gonna be gonna be screenshot when I was looking down at her like this. Oh yeah.
Hey y'all, lol. So I'm not proud to admit this, but this is one of the only ways I can get this off my chest without too much judgment. <laughs> anyway, basically my boss recently got married and like, I'm genuinely happy for them. However, I've had a crush on them since I started working there. And while we haven't done anything, there's definitely tension and have been moments between us that would be considered somewhat <laughs> inappropriate. <gasps> I would never do anything to jeopardize anyone because I'm not trying to have a, tr a try guys <laughs> a try guy situation. Yikes! But I've never been this down bad for a boss before. They have a close just personality too, so that doesn't help. All right, that's it. I'm a good person, I swear. <sighs> Why is that Poetic. literally me with with roach eyes? <laughs> Look at the face I'm making. Mm -hmm. Wait! <laughs> I was like this. I used to watch sexual videos on my brother's tablet when I was six or seven. You beat me. Mine is eleven. Yours is six. Wow. Then again, I, I learned them at four. So. I the, didn't... How? The biakuch. The biakuch. You've been. You. you I, how do four-year-olds do that? I was laying on my stomach. I was like, ooh, ooh. This is gonna be so gross. This is gonna be so gross. God, I forgot what we're talking about. <laughs> he said you had a um a really gross story. Oh my god, I completely forgot I said that. <laughs> What's the gross story? Oh no, but okay. So I remember like at some point, I don't know, it might have been the very first time, or the second time, or the third. Mm. Ew, this is so disgusting! So anyway, I remember there was a pile of papers, because my mama loves papers. As you know, mm -hmm. her whole bed is just papers. Cat paradise. No wonder they like her room. <laughs> um, mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, I peed all over it. <laughs> <laughs> like sitting down? I was doing it! And it feels good to pee. Uh, let's do the next one. Okay. Bye, Mia MJ. When I was six, I kissed my best friend, but we started to get on top of each other. Of course, we didn't do anything. We didn't know what we what what it was, but we were kissing on top of each other. My mom walks past and sees us, and she walks in and stops. But I just don't know what to do because it has been ten years, and me and her are still friends. But we haven't brought it up, and it's awkward sometimes. But sometimes it isn't. But I don't know. If I like it or not, I'm not class myself as LGBT, but I, don't, I was six. Oh. Wow. I didn't, get, I didn't kiss anyone until I was 17. You got the 10 years on me, bro. I didn't kiss anyone until I was 18. Must be the best kisser in the damn world. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Little kids making out. Oh, wow. I, I never did grown up things to myself until I was 16. Wow, it was because of, you know, who. His oral fixations deviated your conscience, not consciousness. What? Anyways. I scraped my dad's car but blamed on my mom. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. I know they've been fighting about that for years. One time, in like second or third grade, I think, we had a spirit, it was spirit week and it was pajama day. Our teacher was going to take us to the computer lab so we can play games but the only rule was we couldn't go to the bathroom during the class or have a dolphin through. I didn't go pee for the class and I ended up really having to pee so what I did I pissed myself in the chair. Once the class was over I got up, pushed the chair and heard the dripping sound as if he was spilling off the chair. Oh. We left the computer lab and our principal comes up to the class and asks to take a picture so there I was wet ass bottom in my pjs the picture made it in our yearbook for that year and you can see me slightly hovering over the floor because it was carpet and i didn't want to leave a wet stain oh. i didn't i don't know the aftermath of the situation at this point i don't want to know because i'm a freshman in college 
That is the most tragic story I've ever heard in my life. That is embarrassing. I am so sorry that that happened to you. That is like some movie shit. Is this a movie scene? No. When I was 15, I got drunk. That's a whole other story. With a, free, with a few friends of mine. It was night and there were three of us in the room. Me and a girl in a bed and another on a chair sleeping. So things happened and the girl who was with me in the bed made some moves and things happened. You can assume. While the other girl was sleeping in the room with us. <coughs> I'm surprised she didn't wake up or she's just good at pretending to sleep. So that's how I lost my virginity at 15. <gasps> to a girl? Ooh. Oh, oh god. There's three girls. Once I took a huge dump in a relative's house and the toilet literally wouldn't flush. I got desperate because those kind of situations make me so embarrassed. So out of fear panic, I just scooped the shit out of my bare hands and threw it in the trash. I've <laughs> done that. You? Yes. At whose house? At face? There's no way. I wouldn't put it in the trash. I don't know what I... I don't know if I was even at someone's house. But there was this one time. This is really embarrassing. Really? This is embarrassing. One time, we were in, we were on a trip, and my mom was like in the bedroom and I was in the bathroom. And I had this little baby doll. Girl, I put my shit in the baby doll's diaper and went up to my mom and was like, look at shit. <laughs> and I really thought she believed me. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Not was I high as a child? Like not what? Not as embarrassing <laughs> as the hair pulling story. <laughs> the hair pulling story. Remember how you have pulling my black girl's hair to make the black <laughs> boy laugh? I'm so sorry again. Like, if you ever see this, you remember her name? you're gonna know who I am. You remember her name? No, but I think she had a pretty name. So earlier this year, I wore, I wrote a secret admirer note to this football player, and he passed it around, but no one knows it's me. Like I've literally just been holding, hiding in the shadows, lurking, frail, frail. Cause from what I heard. <laughs> is word in the streets is that people thinks a freshman wrote it when i'm a fucking junior that's how bad it was i oh. see this guy i wrote it to on a daily i might have to change my routes for real for real but wait do they know it's you though like why don't they know it's you you didn't like put your name or something Oh, it's a secret admirer. Like, if they don't know you, don't change your routes, bro. Don't be ashamed, nobody knows, right? Or you get paranoid or something. Is that what it said? I'm, I'm too, um... I'm gonna read the next one so you can read this long one. Oh. I lost my virginity to a Robloxian. On... Work at a pizza place in Roblox. The clapping emote sound in the game worked a little too well. Shut up. You are 13. I'm excited for this one. It's so long. Before we even get into this story, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> I should be the new voice. Anyway. So ever since COVID started, I thought you were going to kiss me on my neck. <laughs> be fucking pretty. So ever since COVID started, my hormones has been through the rules. Damn roof. I've had little to no privacy to flick the bean. Oh. Ooh, wow. I live in the black house hole. Oof. Wow. <laughs> that's that's the worst part. Doesn't believe in locking or even closing doors. Wow. Wow. I mean you could do it silently, like fuck you mean. Like are they just like patrolling the halls every two seconds turning you off or what? I give it 30 minutes, I'm gonna be flicking that shit. Door open or not. I'm gonna do it in the middle of the night, I don't care. I mean, sometimes you don't even need the screen. You know, the screen is what's gonna fuck you up. 
one time I was watching it on my iPad and like my hands fell and my grandma was across from me and I was like, did she just see the screen? <laughs> How old are you? I've never told anyone that. That's so funny. Like 11. So it was dreadful. One day I came across the beautiful world of ASMR audios. Oh lord, you're one of them. Just joking. At first it was a joke, but then it got serious. I decided to, you know, test the waters if you get my drift. I went to my bathroom and turned the shower on. So, you know, I had sound to block out the noises. And did what I had to do. It was euphoric. Like, I developed a seventh sense. Girl, if you don't get out Wattpad. For the past year, I've popped my headphones in, went to the bathroom, got comfortable, and released the seed. Okay, like, come on. That's so meme I know. <laughs> okay, here's where the story takes a turn. So I got home from school, hella early, decided it was the perfect time to do my thing. Oh my god, you're making me literally want to vomit. It's the fact that you're underage. Anyway, I turned the shower on, put in my headphones, and got comfy. Oh, all of a sudden, I hear a knock on the bedroom door. <laughs> Bathroom door. I paused. It was my sister. She got home early as well and had a project she wanted to comment on. I told her I'd be out in a minute and was having trouble peeing, so I turned the shower on. Trouble peeing? Grisha said trouble pooping. It's more realistic. Anyway, she left and I continued to do my thing. Ugh. God, stop! Calling it that. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Say it. Fast forward 10 minutes, she comes back banging on the door. The minute that I come out and look at her presentation. At this point, I'm annoyed and ask her to just leave me alone. After a couple minutes, I'm sure she's left and I'm just wrapping up. All of a sudden, the door unlocked! <gasps> oh my gosh. Don't read. Don't read. Read. We have to be on the cliffhanger. Okay, okay, read. Uh -uh. I'm terrified. I quickly scrambled out of my position, but it was too late. The door was already cracked wide open enough to see almost everything. I immediately slammed the door. I feel horrible. My sister hasn't asked me about that day since it's happened. <laughs> but I feel like I traumatized her. Help! Please comment on that, please. That is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Do my thing, please never say that again. You are prohibited. You are damn right down diggity -diggity prohibited. So I don't know if this is more like a story time or what, but I used to have a game named Hotel Hideaway and I used to be an online therapist and I met this guy named David and I told him I was 14. By the way, I was actually nine at the time. And I used to pretend that my brother would abuse me and sell me even though I didn't have a brother. I'm the only child. Anyway, I kept asking him if I could date him and he kept saying, you gotta be 18. So I guess I'm changing my age until I was 18. And like, wouldn't that raise suspicion that I'm not of age? Yeah. Anyway, I pretended to run over my imaginary brother with a truck of my imaginary friend while texting David and I escaped my brother. So maybe a few months and David says, I know you're younger than 18, but we can still make this work out. There's no way more to the story, but this is already long enough. I hope this made sense. No idea what you just said. I don't know. <laughs> um, Do you have any idea? No. Your eyes are red. All yours are Bro, too. can I have oh, one? Why do you keep taking them off my head? Oh my god, why? Yo! Is that right? Mm, is that right? Okay, I'm not done for today. One time, really quick. I was playing I'm View. I came into her room with a 17 year old. And once I found out that he was 17, I got so terrified. I come I just like shut the game off. I left the room so fast as soon as I seen 17. I was like, oh, he's gonna call the cops. He's gonna like no my name. Anyway, yeah, that's it. What like Tilo said. I'm T D O, she's T L O. Figure out what that stands for if you don't know. I'm T L O. This is only part one. It's gonna be a series, bitch. 99 responses. What, what were you, like 10? Maybe not even. I don't even know. Bye-bye. See you next time oh. in part two.